legends handed down in many of the sacred teachings of diverse and distant cultures, all tell of a time of human challenge and earth upheaval, giving way to a new beginning for the earth, a new golden age. There have been thousands of documented sightings of UFOs and extraterrestrial beings in the past 100 years. And like it or not, incredible technological feats of construction, such as the Pyramids of Giza, cannot possibly be the work of human hands and human design machines. At this time of Earth transition, I've been asked by these star beings to deliver a series of messages to the people of the Earth, so that people everywhere might be informed of their imminent arrival. Their message is about us as human beings finally coming of age, and together with them, co-creating new life within this galaxy. They are here to stand beside us, and help us transition through this time of change and challenge, to together create a new age of peace and prosperity on Earth. Be guided by how you feel when you hear these words. Let the opening into love that you will feel within your heart and the quickening of the energy behind the words as it flows into your body be the yardstick and barometer of the truth. This is what I am told. A long time ago in a time known by the ancients as Septifi, the first times, the Galactic Council of this Milky Way galaxy decided to create a new upgraded species of people for the Earth. The indigenous people of the Earth at that time were mired in repeating cycles of death and destruction and did not have the genetic ability and the spiritual capacity to advance and move beyond these cycles. They had lost their way as the Earth had also lost its way and fallen in consciousness and vibration from a fifth dimensional star called Tara to a third dimensional planet called Earth. The creator gods and the star nations within this galaxy were troubled. They wished to redeem the Earth beings and felt that the only way they could take the Earth and her people forward was to create a new human species and to seed the Earth with this new, more advanced human DNA. This great experiment in human creation occurred around 100,000 years ago. The new, more advanced human beings were brought to the Earth and began to intermarry with those who were already here. Many beings from the stars also chose to incarnate on Earth to take on the new DNA coding and so help the Earth move forward. Many of these star beings are human looking. This is because they created us to look like them. The star beings tell me that since that time, four cycles of Earth procession of the equinoxes have come and gone. As each of these cycles came to an end, and the Earth realigned with the energy programming center of the heart of the galaxy, the galactic center, a new cycle began. And as it did so, a shift in the electromagnetic energy entrainment between the Earth and the galactic center also took place. This cycle of procession involves a gradual shift of Earth's axis of rotation a slow, revolving wobble of the Earth on its axis. However, the angle of Earth tilt and its relationship to the Sun and other heavenly bodies remains the same. The star beings tell me that a controlled pole shift is underway, with continuing Earth changes through 2014. They say that at this time of transition, Earth is finally to come of age and be recalibrated to a fifth dimensional vibration. A new fifth root race of human beings is to be created. What this means is that the 12-strand DNA potential that we now all have as human beings will be able to be activated 
within the faster pulsating energy environment of a new fifth dimensional Earth. More of the innate cognitive power and potential that was always part of our original genetic code will be activated. DNA material that previously has been turned by scientists as junk DNA will begin to be switched on. The capacity for us as human beings to use our mind in more empowered ways will be increased. In truth, with the Earth's shift to the fifth dimension, we are all being recreated and upgraded, both in consciousness and in physical form. At this time of new beginning, many beings from the stars are coming again to the Earth to help humanity chart a course through stormy waters and begin a new planetary cycle of conscious galactic co-creation. Many representatives of the star nations of this galaxy will come to walk among us here on Earth. They say that so many will come that no government will be able to deny this or cover up the truth. In turn, they will help our world governments chart a new path of progress and vision for the Earth. So that working together as one galactic people, we will right injustice and ensure that all upon the Earth have equal opportunity. The message is positive. They say be heartened by what lies ahead. They assure us that our thoughts of fear are merely a release of old outmoded consciousness vibrations that are falling away from us now like a snake shedding its skin. They understand that old viewpoints and conditioned ideas of reality may require mental readjustment. But this is quickly done if we just allow ourselves to be and be with what is. They say, when we come, we will come quickly and we will come in large numbers you will see huge ships of light in the skies above your cities. No one will be able to deny that we are here among you. When you see these irrevocable signs in the skies that we have arrived, please welcome us with the consciousness of love, as you too came from the stars, and we are like family to you. We work only for your highest good and greatest well-being. In the years ahead, we wish to assist you in many areas of technology to advance the earth, and create abundance, health, and happiness for all. Together, we will recreate the pure light and original beauty of Tara, the earth as it once was and will be again. The time of our coming is at hand. Practice love and goodwill. Be kind to yourself and to others. Become aware that thoughts that are critical or condemning will fly like a boomerang back to you. So be mindful of how you think and how you act from these thoughts that are your own creation. Be at peace and know that all is well.